explain to me what, you, what you're trying to say. I'm trying to say that you haven't done the research you're claiming that you'd have done. Okay. That's what I'm saying to you. Tell me where the research is wrong. I'm tell telling you what it says. So what does it, what does it say in the Quran about the crucifixion? You don't know? I will tell you what it says. Okay. okay. Just, just so, humor me, okay, just humor me. Okay, hear me. Let's say I'm an idiot, let's okay. say I'm crazy. No, no, there's no let's need to... Why, why are you saying... No let's one's say saying I'm this. a moron. No one is saying that. Just, why, just, why are you... Don't agree, calm down. Calm down, calm down no, 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 no. You're being very emotional. Yeah. So that's that's your. So you've given me a biblical scholar and a historian. Um, Reza Reza Aslan, I'm sure you've heard of Reza. Reza Aslan is a biblical scholar, historian. Okay, Josephus. Okay, what does Josephus say? Now you come to a primary source. You're saying okay. historian. Now you're getting somewhere. So tell me what Josephus says. Josephus said there was a man called Jesus and he was crucified. That's not what he said. So he wasn't crucified. No, no, that's not what Josephus said. I can understand that science doesn't make sense, I'll be honest with you. The world doesn't make sense? The idea that this whole world came by chance, or the Big Bang didn't have an existence, the Big Bang must have had a cause. I understand your argument regarding that. I haven't made that argument. No, but yeah. I'm just saying, um, you know, the religious argument is that the Big Bang... You've heard an argument, and you yes. understand that argument. Okay. The, the point is, Islam has copied elements of Christianity and Judaism. And, and it's come up with its own version. That's what I mean. Based upon what? Not just the, the Adam Eve story. You know, you obviously eat halal food, yes? Yeah. Where did halal come from? It came from kosher, a Where? Jewish tradition. So your your so your contention is that because both of these religions have similar stories and practices, the later one copied from the earlier one. Yes. Because is, is that the only possibility? Well, you know, the, the Bible came before the Quran. I'm sure you would agree with me. Yeah. So is that the only possibility? That's a question. Yes, yeah, so where did you get your sources from? Okay. So what's the, what's the of these religions, let's take Islam because I'm a Muslim. Yes. What is what is the Muslim understanding of the reasons for these similarities? Well, they believe the Adam and Eve are the first human beings. No, no, no. You're misunderstanding. I'm not asking you for the story. I'm asking you for their explanation for the similarities in the stories between the Christians and the, to the Jews and the Muslims. Regarding what? What exactly? You have to be so more you, specific. So what you've said is that their stories are similar and one copied. So therefore, in your mind, one copied the other. Yes. That's what I'm understanding. Yes, yes. So what I'm asking you is that's your conclusion that you've come to. Yes. What is the explanation that the people who are dead to Islam yeah. give for this similarity? Because you said you researched the religions, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you must have come across the Muslim explanation for the said similarity. What's the reason? Well, if you, the Muslims always say the same thing. They just what? that everything in the Quran is true. And um, the Adam and Eve story, we believe Adam and Eve are the first human beings. But we don't believe the whole. They don't believe the whole Christian idea of sin originated. Yeah, because obviously Christians go further than that. They so don't you're, just believe you're, that. you're sort of not answering my question. I understand what you're saying. Okay, maybe maybe I don't understand what you're saying. I'll, I'll clarify again then. So you say that the Quran yes. contains the story of Adam and Eve, and yes. the Bible contains the story of Adam and Eve. Yes. The Bible came first. The Quran came second. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then you say that the Quran therefore copied from the Bible. That's your contention. Yes, so, so, okay. Okay. So, what, so what I'm asking you, so copy some elements from there. Yes, yes. So what I'm asking you is, what is the Muslim, because you said you researched the religions. Yes. So you must have come across the Muslim answer to this question before. What, what answer did you come across? They said, uh, from what I've gathered, is that they're saying that, uh, that it, it was written down in the Quran. That's the, it's always the same thing that they always say. That's the answer to the question. Okay, you give me, you what's tell your, me. What's your name, brother? Salman. Imran. Nice to meet you. My brother's called Imran. Okay, I'm the lead. All right, we've had discussions before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so, the guy who was on the Magic of the Wise show. Magic of the Wise So, what I would say to you, you're something very simple. I would say to you that all of these religions, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, yes. have the same source. Yes. All yeah, but you have different books, right? You guys have the Quran, the Christians have the Bible, yes. yes. Okay. But the, they all come from, we believe, the same source. Which, which is God. Yes. Which is God. Yes. So therefore, if God is conveying, or reconveying the message, yes. why wouldn't there be similarities? Because the story hasn't changed. 
if why not have one book then? Why is God having three books? That's a different question now. <laughs> so we can come to that, but do you understand the first question you've asked about is why were there similarities? Okay. Okay, so the reason that there are similarities is because the source is the same. They both come from the Creator. So the Creator reveals the Torah to Moses, the Creator revealed the Injil to Jesus, and the Creator revealed the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon them all. So it's it would be illogical to find different stories for the same events. In fact, it's logical that they are the same, and this confirms the origin is the same. Understand? Yeah. So that's the point for Islam rather than against Islam. Yeah, but Islam doesn't need to have influences from other religions, don't you think? Oh, you're, 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 you haven't understood what I've said to you. No, I understand what you're trying to say, that it's very similar. No, no, I've not said that at all. See, this is the thing. I have not talked about influence, not talked about similarities. I said the source is the same. Imagine you have a professor. I'm going to give an example to give you. You have a professor. He teaches history of a particular set of events. History of a particular event. He teaches you, he teaches your grandson, the same professor. Is he what he going to teach you and your grandson for this historical event going to be similar or not similar? Similar. Why is that? Because it's the same professor? Yes. Okay. Does, does the fact that they are similar detract from what he's teaching you? No, no, it doesn't. So Islam, Judaism, Christianity have the same source in the Muslim understanding. The, the, the God revealed the different texts over different times to different people. And of course, when they talk about the same thing, like the Adam and Eve story, there are going to be similarities. It's not influence, it's the source which is the same. Okay, I'll give you another I'll give you a good point. So do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I believe that this element of, okay, I'm gonna, we're going to go to your religion, forget Christianity, we'll, we'll go to what you believe in. You believe Jesus was never crucified, am I mistaken? No. Do you believe Jesus was crucified? I said you're not mistaken. Okay. Alright. Have you actually looked into it? I'm used to this talk level. I'm not a Christian. I'm used to this talk level. There's a very good chance that he was crucified. It could even be a historical fact that he was crucified. So basically, the Quran has got it wrong there very quickly. Okay, I'll give it one second. So first, let's just make sure we've put a line underneath your previous discussion. Yes, we've so we we understand something else now. Right. So you understand now that the Quran having an Adam and Eve story that is similar to the Bible is because this origin is the same, nothing to do with influence per se. Okay. You understand? Now you've changed the topic to the crucifixion. Okay. So you, what does the, first of all, what's your understanding of what the Quran says about the crucifixion? They say that um, Jesus was not crucified and uh, Allah put him up in the sky no, no. or someone Brother. who looked like him Brother, or whatever. To me. You know, I'll be honest with you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make an argument, so you're saying that's not what Muslims believe. I'm lying now. Am I? Hey, my, hey, let me finish my sentence. Okay, and then maybe you'll understand what I'm trying to say. To okay, you. go on. Say, go on say. Okay, if you're gonna make a statement and a claim about the position of my religion, for example, on a topic, it's reasonable that you give an accurate account yeah, of what that position is. You did. So what does I asked you? What does the Quran say about the crucifixion? Of it you say Jesus was not crucified. You agree with me, right? That's what you guys are saying. Does it say anything else? That Allah put him, Allah put him in the sky. Does it say anything else? Someone who looked like Jesus was crucified. No, it doesn't say anything. So this is the problem. Okay, we're okay, having. okay. Two of the three I've got right. No, right? no, but you're missing the most important thing. Okay, okay. What have I missed? Go on, tell me. This Enlighten whole, me. But this is the whole point, brother. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be serious about having a disagreement, I just got two of the three things right, and now you're making more excuses. No, I'm kidding. The one thing that answers your question, you haven't even put it forward. Okay, what is that? You, That's the point I'm making. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to show you. give you a chance. No, you're not, tell me. no you're not giving me a chance, bro. <laughs> At all. Don't, if you, if you want to give me a chance, walk away now. I don't need a chance. I'm, I don't need a chance. I'm, I'm, I don't need to prove to you anything. I'm trying to help you with the question that you brought to me, bro. You're telling me Jesus was, was in prison, No, I've right? not said that at all. I'm trying to help you with the question that you brought to me. Okay, please answer my question. I'm yeah. going to do it. I'm gonna, but I, want, I don't want to do it in a willy-nilly way, without any depth, without any thinking. I want to do it properly, with depth and thinking. When we come to... Please answer my question. I will. Then. I'm, okay. I'm yeah. trying to do it. Okay, go on. But I don't do things like... Done. All right, okay. I'm trying to get you to understand what the position is. Okay, go on. So what does the Quran say? In which chapter does it say? Which verse does it say? Do you know? No. Okay. okay you chapter for, for verse 157. What does it say? That Jesus was not crucified. I, I'm not, I didn't say I was a Quranic scholar, by the way. I did not say I was a Quranic scholar. I'm not going to give you every oh, eye on the Quran. You said to me that you'd researched the religions. 
I research what you believe. Did I say I read every line in the Quran? Did I know every word in the Quran? Did I say okay. that? So if you're, just... if you're saying to me that you've researched the history of the crucifixion, yes. which is what you said to me, yes. and you've looked at the Quran, and it appears that the Quran is wrong on this, yes. yeah, then I would assume that you've looked at the Quranic statements about the crucifixion. Uh, that's a reasonable assumption to make, right? Yeah, but I already explained to you that... You, as a Muslim, you believe Jesus was not crucified. Okay. Are you, am I mistaken but, but, here? Am but, I wrong? Yeah. But brother, you're, you're not actually missing out the information that answers your question for you in the book. But you... I'm telling you now that in the Quran it tells you the reason why the history records that Jesus crucified. It tells you the reason in it. Okay. And you haven't read it. Okay, you tell me then. Uh, tell me where I'm wrong. I will, I will tell you. I'm not, it's not about being wrong. Okay, you think it's I'm not, wrong? No, tell I'm not, me where I'm, I'm wrong. I'm not telling you that you're wrong, brother. You're misunderstanding Okay, me. I'm right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm right. <laughs> Explain to me what, you, what are you trying to say. I'm trying to say that you haven't done the research you're claiming that you'd have done. Okay. That's what I'm saying to you. Tell me where Very my directly. research is wrong. I'm tell telling you where it says. So what, is the, what does it say in the Quran about the crucifixion? You don't know? I will tell you what it says. Okay, so, go so I'm going to paraphrase for you because you're paraphrasing to me. Okay. It says it. he wasn't crucified, he wasn't killed. Yes. But it, but what? It was made to look like he was. It appeared unto, no, it wasn't made to look like, it appeared unto them so. What does that mean? They, they thought. Who was they? His disciples or his followers thought that he had been crucified. So it says it wasn't, he wasn't killed, he wasn't crucified, but it looked like he was. Okay, yes. Okay. So if it does looked that like, make sense? Yes. So if it looked like he was, what's history going to record? <laughs> I'm asking a straightforward question. What's history going to record? So it looked, okay, so it, no, no. How, answer my question. Yeah, okay. History will say it happened. Okay. okay. So where is the contradiction? But is history right or is history wrong? That's the question you should be no. answering. What's history recording? History recorded that he was crucified. And did the Quran say that it appeared like he was crucified? Yeah, but, but is, is the Quran saying history is right or wrong? Shouldn't the Quran make a judgment on that? Whether no, history is right brother, or wrong? Brother, you're, see now, the Quran is supposed to know everything, right? No, the Quran is supposed to be right. Well, the Quran everything. makes a statement. You didn't even understand the point. It makes a statement. That's it. No, you're, you're misunderstanding. <laughs> you, 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 the, Quran, misun the Quran is playing games no, here. You see, not the at Quran all. Is it's very straightforward. Games. It says he wasn't killed, he wasn't crucified, but it appeared like he was. Yeah, that's what it says. Okay. But it confirms, but, but definitely it was not, he was not killed, it says that, in affirmation. And everything they say is conjecture, okay? Now you're saying to me, well in the history book, and you haven't, you haven't given any historical, okay, extra bit of that. evidence, yeah, we'll do that in a second. Let me talk, we'll you? do that. Um, okay, 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 okay you tell me then, you tell me then. Because okay. I asked you for ages and you said you didn't know. Okay, okay. So I'm tell me, give, tell me, give me evidence. I'm going to give you two historians, I'm sure you've heard of these people. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of Bart D. Ehrman, I'm sure you've heard of really? him. Really? Bart Ehrman? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of him. A historian? Oh, he's a theologian, he studied the New Testament of the Bible. Scholar. Yeah, biblical scholar. Has he studied the New Testament of the Bible? He may have, yeah. yeah he may have. Yeah. <laughs> he may have. He he's not okay. ten books. Of course he has. He's I'm not just joking books. with you. Okay, okay, that's funny. That's good. That's good joke. Can I sarcasm? Yeah, yeah, okay. He has. Okay, let's not play games. He has studied the Bible. He knows the Bible more than you do and I do. Yeah, combined. I, I'm, not, I'm humble. I'm not, a, I'm not arrogant. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm great. great. I'm not going to say I know more than Bhatti. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, great. Okay, he knows more than me and you do. Combined. Yeah. Okay, good. That's good. We got somewhere. Now, the point is this. Bhatti Ehrman says that there's, there's no way the body of says that Jesus was not crucified, or maybe he was mur uh, made to look like he was crucified. This is nonsense. Body of would never say that. Only a Muslim is going to say that. Someone who has studied, someone who has studied the Bible, someone who has studied Christianity, someone who has looked into the life of Jesus. Because remember, body of is not a Christian. I'm sure you know that. Yeah. He's not a Christian. But he knows that there was a man called Jesus. He did exist, and he was crucified for high treason. Not, not to the things that Christians say. Christians say that he was crucified to die for our sins, or it's the Jews' fault, or whatever excuse the Christians are going to come up with. But there is no denying the fact that, uh, that Jesus of Nazareth was crucified for high treason. It's close. Okay, so that's that's your. So you've given me a biblical scholar and a historian. Um, Reza Reza Aslan, I'm sure you've heard of Reza. Reza Aslan is a biblical scholar, historian. Okay, Josephus. Okay, what does Josephus say? Now you come to a primary source, you're saying, okay. historian. Now you're getting somewhere. So tell me what Josephus says. Josephus said there was a man called Jesus and he was crucified. That's not what he said. So he wasn't crucified? No, no, that's not what Josephus said. So Josephus said Jesus was not crucified, no. that's what you're telling me. The, what you've said to me that Josephus said is not what he said. Okay, you, that's what I'm saying to you. So, but does, so does, let's, does Jesus let's, let's believe that Jesus was crucified? Let's, that analyze, the let's analyze this, okay? okay. What did Josephus write in his book? He talked about Jesus. I'll tell you what he wrote. Okay, he talked about Jesus. But we can be as general as we like. So Jose Josephus, who was when was he when was he around? 
a long, long time ago. Yeah, you want to give me the exact date? Yeah, I do, I do. Well, because you've said you're looking at 150 AD approximately, yeah? Okay, long time Okay, the long time, time of ago. Jesus, yes. Before, after the time of after Jesus. After the time of Jesus. After the time, after of, time of Jesus. He's a historian, he's recording okay. the narratives that people have given you. Okay. What's the earliest extant manuscript of his text that we have? I'll rephrase that for you. Of his writings, which is the earliest one that we have that exists now? Before we go into this... No, this is, this is story, story okay, yeah, Before we go into this, are you just rejecting everything Badi Yomin has said, by the way? I, I haven't got to that yet. I'll come to that. I'll, you, Josephus because is, the, went from Badi Josephus Josephus is Josephus. the first historian you've given me. Okay. You've given me two biblical scholars, yeah, okay. and I've said and I've said to you that you'd give me a historian. Okay. So I'll read the yeah. arm, do you think we Josephus first, and I'll come to Bart Ehrman, and yeah, I'll come to the other think, people. Do you, do, you, do you accept that Badi Yomin could be right? Can we come back to that? Regardless of talking about what? Josephus, someone... Josephus is going way back. We are talking about someone very present. But, no, but, still you, but you, need to, you need to be closer to the event, not later from the yeah, event. Yeah, I know, I know, but... So you can't call a modern scholar and say he trumps a, 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 yeah, a scholar, scholar from you, before. You don't even believe in Josephus anyway, so... Let's what are you talking honest. about believe? Josephus is an individual who wrote history. Yeah. What do you mean I don't believe in him? I'm saying let's look at his evidence, so you're not allowing that discussion to happen. Okay. So I'm asking you a very simple question. Josephus wrote around 150 AD. Yes, yes. And I'm asking you... If his work that we have now, that exists, his earliest work, yes. well, is it, when is it dated from? I don't have the exact date. Okay, 1187. What's this got to do with it? I'm telling you exactly what it's got. Okay. You're not letting me, you're getting very agitated for me. Okay. That means w the works that we have that was from Josephus are 1,000 years plus after Josephus was around. Okay. And okay. Okay. How did they come to us? They came to us through the people who collected it, which were Christian hands. So Josephus was a Jew. Yes. I'm not, okay. Yes, I'm not saying he isn't. Yes. And in the in the text that's attributed to him, from which we have existed a thousand years later, it says that this man is the Messiah. Jews don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Yes, yes. And it says, and it calls, and it says other things about Jesus in that that a Jew would not have written. Okay. So when you historically analyze this, we know one thing. Josephus mentions Jesus, we know this. The things that are attributed about Jesus that are in that text wouldn't have been written by a Jew. Josephus was a Jew. So there has been some manipulation of that text between that and the 1,000 years later manuscript that we have now. So that's the first. If you're going to analyze the issue, you do that. Okay, well, Dad, Secondly, I would say what you're saying is an opinion. I don't think this is a fact. I think this is... Really? You need to look... You need to look. I think it's an opinion. Okay, no problem. No problem. You go. Don't take my word for it. Go and look up Josephus and the history of the, the mention of Jesus. You look it up for yourself, yeah, and, and you can find out, and then you can. Don't have to take my opinion. You can take other people's opinions. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Okay, that, I okay agree the second point. Was, I'm not saying everything 100% okay. he's saying is true. Okay, good. But I do believe he mentioned Jesus, and he did talk about. Sure. Okay. Who Jesus Secondly, was. if the, if a historian writes down the opinions of other people, and in the opinions of other people, they have said that they think that Jesus was crucified. Yes. Then the Quran says that it appeared to them that he had been crucified, then there's no, there is no contradiction in terms. There's no contradiction. So the Quran is not saying that Jesus was crucified and no one, and, no, and it didn't happen. It says it, Jesus wasn't crucified nor killed, but it was, but it, but it appeared unto them so. They thought that it had happened. Yeah, but the, does the Quran give any explanation of what actually did happen? Yeah. What it says God, God raised him. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so now, so now, hang on, wait a second. Okay. So I just want to summarize a little bit. Okay. Yes. So initially, we spoke about the similarities between the stories of Adam and Eve in the Bible and the, and the and the and the, uh, and the Quran. Yes. And we explained that the reason similarities can exist is because the source is the same. Yes. You accepted that, right? Yes. Now you've raised this idea that the Quran says that Jesus wasn't crucified, yes. but history records that he probably was crucified. Yes. So I've mentioned the Quran says that it appeared onto them so. So history is recording this apparent appearance okay? okay so there's no contradiction again okay but as you already explained Islam goes further it says he was put up in the sky am I mistaken that's what so Jews and Christians both believe that Jesus was raised to heaven okay 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 now think about this rationally what makes more sense Jesus was raised up into heaven or he was crucified for high treason what makes more sense? So these are two different events, so I don't know why you're saying no, no, all. Just, 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 just so, humor me, okay, just humor me. Okay, hear me. Let's say I'm an idiot, let's okay. say I'm crazy. No, no, there's no let's need to... Why, why are you saying... No let's one's say saying I'm this. a moron. No one is saying that. Just, why are you... Why are you, you need to calm, calm down. down, down, down. No, 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 no. You're being very emotional. No, 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 I'm just playing games. I'm playing games here. 
I'm not, I don't want to play games. If you want to play games, then we can end it now. I don't want to play games. I don't want to play games. I'm very serious. I'll tell you why I'm here. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. If you can't handle what I've got to say, I'm not forcing you. You can leave. Did I force you to come speak to me? Listen, you've come to us, brother. Yeah, I'm just standing here. If you don't want to speak to me, I can go. I've got other stuff. I can eat. I can eat. I'm up to you, brother. But the point I'm making is. You want me to get you some food? No, I've got money. Don't worry. I've got money. I've got money. I'm just saying I could be eating I could, instead of speaking to you, but I'm so nice here. I'm speaking to you instead of eating. Very, very kind of you to speak to me. Um, yeah, my belly's probably rumbling, making noises. Sure. Anyway, the point is this. The point I'm making is it makes... I'm not saying I'm an, I'm an intelligent man. The point I'm making is it makes more sense to say that Jesus was crucified for high treason then that Allah, put him, that Allah put him up in the sky. It's not good. It's, okay. any, anyone with a brain knows it makes more sense to say that this man was crucified, he died then Allah or God put him up in the sky. Come on, okay. it's common sense. Okay. What are you basing that on? Please? I'm basing on using your brain. It's about using your brain. I'm not a genius, but I'm an intelligent enough man to understand. So you're, you're an atheist, right? Yes. You don't believe in miracles? No, I don't. Okay, so this is the problem that we're having. So before we can, before we can deal with supernatural events, before we can deal with them. So Muslims and Jews and Christians believe in the parting of the Red Sea. We believe in Jesus bringing back people life from the dead. Yeah, the, we, we believe in the, the, we believe the resurrection. That, we yes, believe in these, which, which you as an atheist discount. Okay, so, the, so hang on a second. So everything in the Bible you're, that you disagree with, you're ignoring, and you're picking this one thing and you're saying it makes more sense that he was killed and then raised up. You're saying he was raised up or not raised up? No, he was definitely okay. not raised up. Even the Bible says that he was raised up. Well, then the Bible is wrong. Okay, so then you can't be arguing for something that you think is wrong. We need to really deal. We need to really deal with what's underlying, and that's the atheism you know, to start with. So the first Jesus, question, Jesus really, being between us is a historical fact. As an atheist, I cannot deny it. What, I'm not a Christian. What's a I'm an atheist. What is a historical fact, brother? It's a historical fact that there was a guy called Jesus, and he died on the cross. Are okay. you telling me? No, I'm it's asking. Not an what, opinion. Who was he? And what was he here for? The, 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 he was a revolutionary. He was a criminal. That's, that's what. Who? That's how people. Know that's historians. So the, the well, problem. So the problem is this, brother. Historical facts, in inverted commas, are the recording of opinions. Uh, a recording of the opinions of the people of the time. A recording of the opinions of the people of the time. Now, so it's very interesting that you want to come and argue for a recorded opinions of people in history as a fact, and but use that at some point somehow against the Quran, which doesn't really work because I've explained to you that the Quran also says that it appears like he was crucified. I think the Quran but is playing games. If you no, want it's, it's being very straightforward with you. The Quran now, the is saying it appears to him that he was crucified. Not to him, but to them. It appears to them that yeah. he was crucified, yeah. and then um, Allah put him up in the sky. Allah raised him up. Instead. Allah raised him up. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you're, what the problem here is is that what, what your issue you're having is with a supernatural event. Now we can't deal with the supernatural event until we deal with the under the thing that's causing you to not accept supernatural events can exist. Now for me, having our conversation between us, I think the reason that you can't accept that is because you're an atheist. So the first thing we need to deal with if we're going to deal with it, if you want to deal with it, is is, is there a God or not? Because then we can get on to the other things. Well, you know my answer. I don't believe there's a God. Okay, so I understand your answer. So the question would be, how did you arrive at this? Why did you believe that? Well, there's many reasons, but I think... There's many reasons, but I don't... The, the science argument, I'll say quickly, by the way, the science argument, I can understand people's concerns. I can understand why people think science doesn't make any sense. That's not why I became an atheist. I think my, my concern is the two main the two main figures. Both religions, both religions are based on one man. Christianity is based on Jesus. Islam is based on Muhammad. If Muhammad is not the prophet, if Jesus is not a prophet, God or son or whatever it is, then Christian religion is finished basically. Then you don't need to get the God into it because God becomes irrelevant. I hear what you're saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me give you a different perspective. So I would say to you, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah, throughout history, there have been people who've made the same claim that there is a creator, he has spoken to us, this is the message that he's given. And the message is usually monotheism and worshipping your God without partners. Now this is ubiquitous, it's found in all continents, in all societies. There's ulti even in, if you take a, a religion like uh, Hinduism for example, there's an ultimate Brahma who is the God, which are the, which are, and there are gods below him. There's always an ultimate being. If you go to even the... No, I agree with you, sure. I agree with you, right. So, so the Islamic understanding is that God sent prophets into the world, all with the same message. 
worship God alone without partners. That was the basic message. And that has been consistent throughout history. So I don't believe that a religion started with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I believe there was a continuation of the message. I don't believe a religion started with Jesus, peace be upon him, but there was a continuation of the message. So I don't believe... So from Adam, from yeah. Adam was, he was the first man and the full truth was admitted to this... And, that, and, that's been, and mankind has been constantly re-reminded of the same truth. Okay, I, I, I've got, I've got, which is why Muslims believe in the Torah and they believe in the Injil. I'll, I'll, explain, you very, yeah. I'll explain to you very quickly, very quickly. That's another reason why I became an atheist. The Adam and Eve story, I don't believe Adam and Eve existed. So that will debunk your claim about religion. Why, why, don't, why don't you believe Adam and Eve? That, that debunks your whole claim. Why, why? That, means religion, that just destroys you guys. Why, why did you believe that Adam and Eve didn't exist? Okay. Name me one historian on this earth. Who said that Adam and Eve existed? One historian. Give me one person who believes Adam and Eve existed. Historian. We know. What do you mean? I don't understand. The point I'm making is there is no proof that Adam and Eve existed. That is the point. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you have a mother and father? Don't change the series. No, no. It's, it's on the topic. Do you have a mother and father? Yes, I do. Of course. Okay. Take that far back as you can go. Use your scientific atheism to do that. Yeah. Far back as you can go. Where are you going to get to? We're going to get to the Big Bang and chimpanzees. No, 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 no. We're not going to get to. No, no. The Big Bang happened way before the chimpanzees. Yeah, but. And the chimpanzees and humans split about six million years ago. So we're not talking about that. I'm talking to you about the first human being. Yeah, they were not Adam and Eve. We don't even know what okay. their names are. Well, okay. Let's say you don't know the names. I'm not even arguing that. What was? Will you go back in time, and what has happened to the population of man? Go back in time, what happens to the population of man? Increases or decreases? In in uh, increases. Uh, if you go back in time. Yeah, there's, there were very few of them. Very, they get less and less and less and less. Until you come to, this is using your scientific head, the first human beings who were able to procreate and bring on the children. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Let's forget their names. How many were there? Two, probably. It still doesn't prove Adam and Eve. It proves that there were two human beings in the beginning. You've already admitted there's two human beings in the beginning who started off the progeny which we now call mankind. Yeah, but that's what science says. Science says they were okay. the first chip. So now, science doesn't so say now the first man we have a correlation between the religious stories of Adam and Eve and your scientific viewpoint on where the first human beings came from. So if Adam and Eve... So now, so now, what's in, brother? So now what that means is your objection is not founded anywhere. No, no, but the point is, did Adam and Eve exist? That is the point. Yes. What's your proof? So there's many proofs. Human history records it. So all of the all so by human history, as in human, if you look at what humans have told each other for time immemorial, they've called about the first man and first woman. It's in every single narrative. Yeah. Even your even your scientific view of how how humans and uh, came into the earth, and if you go back in time, leads to the first human beings. So, okay, okay. so so I don't understand what so what you're saying, what you're arguing with is I don't know their names, and that's it. So there's a limit on how far back we can look, right? Okay. The, the point I'm making very simple is like if Adam and Eve never existed, let's say for example, let's say I'm right. You think I'm wrong? Whatever. Let's say I'm right. Let's say this atheist is right. Let's say Adam and Eve never existed. Religion, can religion can religion still survive? Is religion still right? Well, the, the fact that you're here, the fact that you're here, means that they are the first humans were here. Yeah, but there's still proof that there is a so, God. So you're so the fact that you're here shows that the first humans were here. So then Adam and Eve existed. Yeah, but does that prove God exists? Did God make Adam so, and Eve? So, no, so yes. Because there has to come it's from an somewhere. It's, 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 Brother, it's, 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 it's an opinion. It's, so it's just your opinion. It's just your opinion. It's just an opinion. But we all have opinions. It's not a fact. It's not about opinions. It's about having evidence for your opinion. Yeah, so I've it, given you. Uh, let's wait a second. I've given you two pieces of evidence. One piece of evidence is that your your own your own agreement that they were the first human beings. They had to be the first human beings for us to be here now. Yeah, will you agree with that? Okay. Second thing is I've talked about that all of the human civilizations talk about the original man and woman. They all talk about them in their narratives. And every creation story, a creation myth, whatever you want to call it, human history records this. So we have two pieces of information that corroborate. It doesn't corroborate. mean it's true. That's what we don't understand. It doesn't mean it's true. What do you mean Just by because people are talking about it doesn't mean it's true. I could be talking about Santa Claus doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, but why are you bringing I could be Santa Claus? About, I'm just giving you, just give, I'm giving an example. Hear me out. Okay. I could be talking about Batman, doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, but what's that got to do with our topic? Batman is a fictional character. Yeah. So is Adam and Eve. No, no. But Batman is a fictional character. No, no, no. Saying, no, we, can see, we, can, we can speak to the person who, we can speak to the person who, who invented Batman. Who drew the comics. We can, yeah, can, we can you speak to the person who invented Adam and Eve? No. No, not invented. Who made him? 
Can we speak to the person who made well, he's, that? He's opinion? spoken to you. Like he's spoken to you. Absolutely. He's spoken to you. But you're ignoring the evidence. So, but, uh, not, you know, Ali asked him a question. Can you name one historian to talk about Adam and Eve? And he said, I can't, therefore, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve never existed. Can you name one biologist who observed evolution? Every, evolution is a big... It's not, does anyone big, observe it's evolution? Theory, theory. Most scientists agree with it. Are you telling me most scientists so don't agree with evolution? That's opinion, then, isn't it? Because no one observed evolution. Likewise, he said there is not a single historian who can talk about Adam and Eve. So based on your standards, evolution never happened because no one, no one observed evolution. Yeah, that's not why I became atheist, evolution. My, I'm not, that's why, why did you become an atheist? Because, I became atheist because, because the Adam and Eve thing doesn't make sense. Okay. Right. To you, you, to you. No, no. But you're I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you why. No, no. Tell me that. Why is that? You're not an atheist, are you? Of course you're going to disagree with me. No, no, no. no, no. This is not a surprise. I don't, I don't disagree with you because of who I am. I will disagree with you because what you're saying to me doesn't make sense. No, because if you bring me, if, no, no. If you bring me something that's true, I'll tell you that's true. It doesn't matter what I give you, you're not going to understand. I could be here all night. What, what, what do you, what do you <laughs> I mean? I could be here all day, so you what you're won't understand. What you're saying is I'm insincere? No, what, what I'm saying is that you're not going to change, do you understand? Are you it's not to, about change. We are can, you going to become an atheist look, today? We can, we can, look, you can stay an atheist, I can stay a Muslim, we can agree to disagree and be friends, no problem. Yeah, but the point okay. is, you're not going the to point leave is Islam, that, are you? On, why would honest. I leave Islam? Exactly, be honest, you're not going to leave no, Islam. No. It doesn't matter what I say to you today. No, you can. You disprove Islam and the Quran, and obviously I wouldn't, it would be hypocritical of me to remain a Muslim. Muslims believe Islam? Yes, I will, yes, I will, if you want my own opinion, yes. Then you're going to have to bring something much better than what you're I bringing. I don't really want, I, I don't want, I want everyone to be atheist, to be honest. Why? Because that is a perfect society. Is it? it is. China? Yeah, but China, they're China? communists. Yeah, but they're atheists. Yeah, but I'm a right-wing atheist. Yeah, they're left-wing atheists. It doesn't atheist. matter. So they're, these are an atheist society that's imprisoned in its own people. Look in here what's happening with the atheist society. Yeah, but 700,000 children refer to their doctors as with their mental health issues. Yeah, but and the statistics rise by 48% in the last two years. And you think it's a perfect society? Without, like, Are you joking? So, so what, what, what happened? What, did you have, like, were you, did you have some bad experience when you were growing up? Or yeah, the guy, were, did, were your parents horrible to you? Or? So, my mum was my an amazing So, so what, what happened that made you like this? What, what, because it's not just like Why do you think I'm here? No, no, no. Why am I wasting my time? What, what I could be at home right now eating food. Why am I here? You keep I don't know why you're here. I'm here to tell you the truth. Why am I wasting my time here today? Have you told me? That your religion is a lie, don't you get it? You don't listen to words coming out of my mouth. But what I want you to do though, speaking English. But what I want you to do is, rather than just say it, bring some evidence for it. I've given you Badiam and I've okay. given you Resurrection no, no. and I've given you so historical what, evidence. No, no, no. I've quoted I'm, from your Quran. Let me summarize. Let me summarize. Let me summarize, let me summarize something for you. So first you said to me, you didn't understand. You thought that the similarities in the in the, the narratives of Adam and Eve's story that you find in the Old Testament and you find in the Quran show signs of copying, and I explained that this was because of a common origin. Okay? You agree yeah, with that? Did you get that Why story from Christianity? Uh, yes or no? No. It came, <laughs> from, it came from the same place where the Christian story came from. But did Christianity creator. come before Islam? Yes or no? Look, Sen, Mike, you're, 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 come on, this that doesn't make sense. sense. It's not, it's not common. It's silly. It's silly. No, you're being did, silly. Did the professor who taught you and your grandson? No, no. So what came first? You okay. came first or your grandson came okay, first? This is, the this is what you're asking me. I'm, uh, you're going you're gonna to answer my own question for oh, me. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. yeah. It's very simple. I'm sure you can understand it. I'm sure you can answer this question. What came first? The Bible or the Quran? The Creator. <laughs> reveal the Quran and the Bible. That's the problem you're missing. You're wasting See, my time. Okay then, I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. you wish you all the best, okay? Yeah. Take care. Good luck. Go and have them. SubhanAllah. So, brothers and sisters, this is really interesting. So what we have here is an example of a, uh, an atheist who came with a couple of points. So the first point that the brother came with was that he didn't believe in Islam because the Quran and the Old Testament had similar stories about Adam and Eve. So then I explained the reason for this was because they had the, the, the origin of them were from the same society, the origin was from uh, the Creator. And of course, when the Creator would talk about these similar events, there would be some similarities in them. This is nothing about copying or anything at all. The second thing he then raised, and moved on to another topic, is about the crucifixion. He said that the crucifixion um, most definitely happened according to history. So I asked him to elaborate further, even though he claimed that he'd read into the history of these two things. And he wasn't able to give me the Quranic statement which says that Jesus was neither crucified nor called, but it appeared unto them so. So the history, history recording that Jesus was crucified peace upon him doesn't contradict the Quranic narrative because the Quran says, yeah, it appeared that way but gives an alternative explanation. So we moved on from this point to 
the, the non-existence of Adam and Eve. We didn't believe Adam and Eve existed. So he's an atheist. And we spoke about if you go back in human lifetimes and human genetics, you come to the first man and first woman. And then we spoke about all of history. History people have spoken about the origin of man and talk about the first man and first woman. The brother was unfortunately unable to continue the discussion any further. But we have this inconsistency in the thinking process. And all I all I advise is that if you're going to take a position or change your position, really base that upon evidence and not just emotion or hearsay. Assalamu alaikum brothers.